Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video! Okay, so for this demo, let's start again from the beginning so we can practice. I will only create a div that will be used from view with the ID app. So let's first create the file events.html. So I will only need a div this time with the ID app. The next step is to include view, so I will use again the CDN for this. And the last step is to create the view model. var vm, which stands for view model, equals to new view. And I will use the element and we will bind that to the app. Okay, so what I'm going to do this time? Well, we will have two buttons. One button will increase votes and the other one will decrease votes. So let's first create the text for that. I will say votes and I will create two buttons. So button one will be a plus and the other one will be a minus. Of course, if we take a look at this, you will see that we only have the buttons and the text here. We do not perform any kind of operation for now and we do not see the votes. So the next step is to create a property for the votes. And we will assign it to zero for now. Of course, we also have to display it. So we use curly braces and we will display the votes. Let's go back. And yeah, here it is. In the view, we can have expressions on events. For example, when we click the plus button, we want to increase the votes by one and when we click the minus button, we want to decrease by one. So the event here is click. Now we can listen to click events in two different ways. Add click and then the expression or V on click and then the expression. Both of them are the same, but I prefer the first one because it is more readable and easier to remember. So, when we click the plus button, we want to increase the votes by one, and when we click the minus button, we want to decrease votes by one. And let me also change this to at click. Okay, so let's go back and see what we have. A refresh, and then, when you click the plus button, you see that the votes increase by one, and when you click the minus button, they decrease by one. Pretty cool. Now, of course, here there is no complicated logic, but what if you had one? What if you were actually using a complicated algorithm instead of incrementing and decrementing the value? In the next video, we will see how we can use methods to solve this problem.